everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're back, I'm Anna and this is the Book Dreamer Sally. Uh, my second reading vlog of the year. I have the purpose of making a reading vlog every couple of weeks, every other week, um, just to give you more content. Please let me know if you would prefer a weekly reading vlog every week. Uh, just I'm doing that just because I'm planning to upload. Hi, serious. <laughs> two bo two books. Oh my gosh. Okay. Forget it. <laughs> Two videos per week. And I believe one vlog every four videos uh, would be best. But please let me know what videos you would like from me. If you have any video ideas you would like from me, I'm more than happy to oblige. So, uh, this week so far is going to be very ambitious to me. Uh, it is all red. It is. Is it Monday? Is it? It's Monday. Okay, so yeah, it's Monday the 18th. I think it's Monday the 18th. I hope it's Monday the 18th. <laughs> uh, when I start university, I'll know which day it is. So I'm planning to read Freud's essays on hysteria. I'm already on page 50, started yesterday, read only 20 pages today. It's evening. I mean, it's actually morning Tuesday because it's like 2... 20 a.m. Uh, yes, I'm recording at this time. So I'm on page 50 and it just has 167 pages, 168. So I think I'll be able to finish this one, I hope, <laughs> because I'm quite liking it, but it's a slow read because it's technical psychology stuff. Uh, then I want to read uh, Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tommy Arayami and I also want to read. Finish the poppy word. I'm on page 262, I think. Then I want to finish the final empire. Then I'm just on page 54. I haven't continued reading it. Started it last week's Monday. Read Monday, Tuesday, and that was it. Um, and I really like it. Uh, and then uh, if I can make it to... I would love to either finish Kingdom of the Silver Cat or read The Shadow Man. Uh, Shadow Man is by Helen Fields. And Kingdom of the Silver Cat is by Thomas M. Carroll. Though both are from NetGalley and uh, Kingdom of the Silver Cat is a middle grade that's going to be released on the 4th of February, which is my birthday. So I very much would love... I, my birthday. My birthday is two weeks. Oh my gosh. Okay, my birthday is in two weeks and two days. I'm nervous right now. I think it's two weeks and two days. Forget it. The thing is my birthday is on the 4th of February. I absolutely love my birthday. No, I'm very excited. Yeah, I hadn't thought about it, you know, uh, pandemic, lockdown and stuff. So, yeah, but um, I've always loved my birthday. Like, that's the most special day ever for me. And I don't know, now I'm, I don't know if I'm more scared or excited, but here I am being excited about my birthday and scared that I don't know if I'm going to see, uh, to see any friend of mine. Uh, probably I won't get like any gifts this year, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll just see. So yeah, I want to read too many books because I have too many on my TBR uh, I haven't gotten to and I've decided that I will punish myself having to uh, use books from this, the books from a previous month that I didn't get to, I'll have to take them with me to the following month, S make them fit my TBR somehow, once and again until I get to read them, and start with those ones the following month, if that makes sense. Okay, book fell and it scared me. Uh, we're fine. So yeah, I have a very ambitious week uh, reading wise. I'm not yet back at uni. I'm back on the 8th of February. So after my birthday. Yay, my birthday. Sorry, I get overexcited. Uh, so yeah, I'll get to this one before bed if I can. Although it's 2am and I should be editing. 
and uh, I promise I'll do my best to finish this one tomorrow. So if, if I finish this one Tuesday and go on with the puppy wear, I should finish the puppy wear by Thursday slash Friday and be able to have started this one. Because I've read one physical, one ebook and one audiobook. I, I also want to finish the tethering. I don't remember the author's name, but I'll show you show it to you. I'll add it here on uh, text. Um, I'm listening to it on script at the moment. So, yeah, I hope I'll talk to you later. I hope this week I can read at least four out of the five books I'm aiming for. And wish me luck. I hope I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, people. It's me again on Monday, the 25th in the evening. And I don't know what happened to my clips from Tuesday to Friday, but I seem to have lost them. So here's an update. I did finish um, essays on hysteria on Tuesday, and then I also finished the tethering. I never got two children of blood and vo of blood. Sorry, what? Of virtue and vengeance, um, because I decided to start the night circus, and um, I don't know if I. I think I said this before, but it's a slow read. Uh, I don't think it's a book to rush. So I'm giving it its time, but I've been quite busy these past couple of days. So I did not uh, finish. I have not finished that one yet. I hope I can finish it tomorrow. Uh, aside from working, I'm planning to just read that until I'm done. And then I should pick up Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I had told you that instead of those books, I had decided to start reading Nightmares and Dreamscapes by Stephen King, because it's a book I'm supposed to finish by the end of the month, and it's more than 900 pages, so... <laughs> uh, the thing is, I'm just on page 168, but I, I still have this week to finish that one. If I get to finish The Night Circus tomorrow, I'll be able to get to uh, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, which I'm hoping to finish... Um, between tomorrow and Friday because I also need to read the Nat Galliards. So I don't think I'm going to get to the other ones, which means I may have to modify my February TBR a little bit regarding the Valentine's uh, readathon I'm planning to participate in. I am participating in. And I also finished listening to The Tethering. Uh, I'll add it up here. Or on this, I think on this side. Um, that is, it was a nice uh, read, but, but it was just nice. I mean, I'll give it, mm, I gave it three stars. And it was okay, but I think it had... To, I mean, I had said this before, but it had too, too many tropes that are being used all over. Especially it has from Harry Potter, like the trope of the bad guy that's bad because he couldn't be loved by the good girl. And I don't know, it has like too many tropes that I've seen, especially in that book. And I am on page 168 from Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I just read it one day and I read that, that many pages. Um, and I think I didn't finish anything else this week, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it had been. I finished The Poppy Wood and really liked it. Uh, it, uh, it was a five star, I was expecting it to be a four, but it was a low five on Copile. Copile, if you don't know, is the rating system created by uh, G from Book Rose. I'll link her Copile video down below. And yes, that's what I hadn't told you that I needed to tell you. I'm going to put this clip on Friday. 
because by Friday I had already read all that and I had already started the night circus. Uh, but I wanted you to know I'm re-recording it because of what had happened. And this is editing me. Hi. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was an issue. Uh, probably you will get my video a few hours late, but I'm still hoping to be able to edit and finish this tomorrow. I'm going to go to bed. I believe it's 2.14 in the morning and I'm planning to wake up early. So I'll go to bed now and get everything ready so I can really upload this vlog tomorrow. I'm ve so very sorry that all my clips from Tuesday to Friday were lost. I just had one from Friday, but I don't know what happened to the camera or to the phone that looks horrible like i don't know what happened it showed on my face stains that are not there uh on my skin i mean it was horrible horrible <laughs> like very bad so i don't know what happened to it but yeah i didn't want to leave you without a clip so yeah, I will next leave Saturday or Sunday's update, but I'm hoping you can enjoy the little bit that was left. Bye. Sunday. But I have news. I got to page 168 from Nightmares and Dreamscapes by Stephen King. I'm um, sorry for the lightning. Light is not as good today because I decided not to turn on the lights from the shelves because they were giving me like a funny hello. So uh, I got to page 168 from Nightmares and Dreamscapes by Stephen King that I'm planning to continue reading tonight see where I can get there, uh, where I can get tonight. I don't think I'm going to get where I want it, but I'll get as far as I can. And I also got to page 241 in uh, The Night Checkers. And trust me, I'm just loving this book. This is just, ah, uh, it's a dream. It's just, I cannot tell you anything, anything else. You, you just have to read it. It's just amazing. I think it's going to become one of my all-time favorite books. I mean, I really hope it does. I'll try to get further into, like, at least to page... Uh, 290 in um, the Nut Turkeys, and I'll try to get to page, uh, I believe it is 280 to 300 in uh, um, Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I also uh, continued listening to Body Crocodile, which is an audiobook I didn't tell you I was listening to, that was given to me in exchange for a review. Um, I don't remember the name of the author. I'll just put it here. And uh, I started also listening to A Song of Rats and Brewing, but I decided to stop and wait until I finish Body Crocodile. I have less than three hours to go. So... It's fine. Um, what else? I mean, I haven't finished any book whatsoever this week, I believe. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's not good. Or have I? I'll see when I 
check the vlog <laughs> when I'm editing the vlog tomorrow. So I'll close it up tomorrow. I decided not to close it today just because I haven't finished any and I really want to finish the net tickets by tomorrow. But I have a couple of things to do. I have to get a couple of my classes ready, prepare them for the week. I also have to... I was asked to uh, hand out the the money some classes would cost for a student that's supposed to start on the 1st of February. Well, she's starting on the 1st of February, but her company decided they may pay for her classes from March. So I have to send her that information. And I have a couple of extra things. I have to have dinner that I haven't had it yet. And it's like 10 p.m., I think. I think it's 10 p.m. I'll do my best to continue reading and we'll update you, if not later, tomorrow. Bye! It is Monday evening and I have not read at all. Well, I listened to a couple of hours of Buddy Crocodile. Nothing else so far today. And I have to edit now, so I'll try to read a bit from The Night Circus and uh, Nightmares and Dreamscapes before bed, but I'm not sure I'm going to have the time to do so. I read Essays on Hysteria by Sigmund Freud, uh, which was okay, but then I hope to finish Buddy Crocodile later on, like before bed, because I'm just, I'm missing less than two hours. So I'll play it uh, while I edit. And um, I don't know, I wanted to finish The Night Circus by yesterday. Didn't happen. To be honest, The Night Circus is a, is a dream, it's perfect. But it's a book you shouldn't rush into. It's like you should give it its time and read every line and like chew it, enjoy every word. So I don't think that is um, a book you should uh, like read when you want to read a lot of books. You should just concentrate on enjoying it. It's so, so beautiful. Uh, it's beautifully written. I really love the writing style like from the very bottom of my heart. I don't think it's extremely flowery, but I think it's perfectly said for it to be a dream, the dream that it wants to be. So uh, I think it just does his job. Um, I don't feel bad for not having finished that one, but I feel bad for not having read at all today. I had to work for a few hours, then I had other things to do. I'm having insomnia. I'm sorry this has not been an interesting reading vlog with many clips of nice things, serious and stuff like that, because it hasn't been an easy week for me either. So I promise I'll do my best so the following vlogs are a lot better than this one. But yeah, I mean, I didn't read my daily goal from Nightmares and Dreamscapes yesterday. That means I'm two days behind already, but I'm still in time to finish it by the end of the month, which is okay. I had planned to finish it Friday. So if I cannot finish it Friday, it will be okay to finish it uh, either Saturday or Sunday. Then the Night Circus, I'm on page uh, 244, and I'm using this beautiful uh, bookmark. I just found it amazing, and the cat is so, so similar to my cat. So, yeah, I'm on page 244. They are 387 pages in the book. So that's 200, no, that's 100 and I don't know how to count anymore, I'm tired. 100 and 40 pages and 42 pages, which is doable in a couple of days. So if I can get to read a couple from this one today, I'll be able to finish it tomorrow. But this is gorgeous too. I mean, uh, I've seen many beautiful editions, but I really, really love this one. So yes, Nightmares and, Dream and Dreamscapes, as I said yesterday, I'm on page 168. And I love the book more than music. Because it's also Stephen King with books. I just love this thing. 
so yes uh body crocodile i hope i can finish it as i said i'm breathing myself for way too much okay i'll stop rambling now editing me realized that there was an important live event i hadn't told you about uh well i had told you about it in one of the clips that was magically lost and it was that I had a pretty bad week mental health wise, especially for a couple of days because I found out that I'm going to be left with half the basic amount I've received at work. So half the workload, but that means that it's going to be hard because it's going to become a financial struggle if I don't find anything extra. The thing is that I really need that extra work, but I need to start trying to look for virtual stuff. If you know of anything I could do remotely or virtually, let me know, please. I am going to find as a translator, transcriber, like anything I can do, virtual assistant and stuff like that, or ESL teacher, I mean, anything I'm uh, able to do. So, yeah, I mean, I had updated you on that, I think it was uh, Thursday. So that was uh, one of the reasons I haven't read that much this week. Also, I haven't recorded so many clips. I'm... Yeah, that's it. I think that's, that's all I had to tell you. Body Crocodile, I hope I can finish it. Today, I'm quite confident I'm going to finish Nightmares and Grimscapes by Sunday, the latest. And the next week is uh, tomorrow. Uh, then I'll get on to reading The Shadow Man and The Final Empire. Because I should finish The Final Empire by Sunday. It's a body read, which I also told you this week. Okay, that's it for me. <laughs> this week um sorry it wasn't as entertaining i'll do my best to make better vlogs uh for the following ones and hope you're having a pretty good month and you that you have a great beginning of february my birthday is on the fourth that's another thing that has me thinking like my birthday is on the fourth of february and i think i'm going to be alone here i'm not sure yet but yeah, normally that day is like to be with friends and people you love and, you know, get gifts. I don't know. I mean, ah. But, and I normally really love my birthday. So I can, hope I can at least meet a couple of friends if, if I can make it happen or online, even on camera. So, yes, my birthday is on the 4th of February. Uh, <laughs> I know I said it again and I'll say it 20 more times, but I'm very, very happy because my birthday is coming, but I'm also anxious because I don't know how good this year it's going to be or it's going to be this year. Well, I, I don't know how to talk anymore, so I'll stop rambling. Hope you're having a good one and please, please take care of yourselves and enjoy life. Bye.